I woke up and decided kind of in the moment today that I want to make a YouTube video. That's my cat. This is a beautiful day. My goodness. It's so clear outside. It's like 72 right now. I perfect. Okay, 30 minute drive later, finally at the bridge. So I recently went to Ross, bought a pair of baseball cleats. I don't play baseball, but I'm gonna use these for fossil hunting. I mean, look at these nice, flat, um, I don't even know what to call these, like these diggins. That's gonna be so good. This is the legendary Stone City Formation outcrop in Bryan, Texas. And some people call it the most fossiliferous place in Texas. And that's not necessarily true, but there are an enormous amount of fossils here regardless some rare some extremely common we're gonna find a lot today regardless so i'm pretty excited because it looks like if you come out of this little cove here we have the entire bluff to ourselves today no one's out i think it's because there's a football game and you know how a&m gets about football games my uh main goals for the day are ceratolamna cobardi it's a big shark with big teeth I don't know really much about them because my specialty is not with the Eocene fauna, it's with Cretaceous stuff. But that just makes them exciting, right? Not knowing much about them. So that would be really cool if I find one. Striatolamia macrota, I have found a really beautiful tooth from that before. Galeocerido eagle somai, that's an extinct species of tiger shark, but it's the same genus as the modern ti tiger sharks. They're both Galeocerido. So that will be really cool. I have one beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Galeocerido eagle somai tooth from here. And uh, Bellocepia, Bellocepia angula. It's a primitive cuttlefish. Cuttlefish are my favorite modern animals, so I'd be quite pleased if I saw one of those today, but they're pretty uncommon. Another favorite of mine is Pristis lathami. It's a big toothed sawfish. It has big spikes coming out of its nose. I've seen a couple from here before. So mostly hoping for repeats, but I've never found a, never found a Ceratolamna. Ceratolamna would be cool. And screw it, maybe ultra rare stuff. Maybe I can wish to find sea turtle material. That's possible. Or croc tooth, crocodile tooth. Oh my goodness. I would freak out and die on the spot. So maybe I shouldn't, but I hope I do. I hope I do. I just found a fish odolith. Let me see if you guys can get a good look at this. Right there where my thumb is tapping. It's still in the matrix. So I'll have to try and get that out. Right, let's see if we can do that on camera. Quick rundown of some of the fossils you all see. That is a little bryozoa colony. Bryozoans are interesting invertebrates. They usually encrust other fossils that I find, but that's the otolith, and I'll explain what that is just now. Let's see if we can get it out first. Oh, wow. Whoa. That is definitely a big, interesting looking otolith. An otolith is the ear bone of the fish. And the reason it's useful, especially to researchers, is because like a tree, it has rings on it that come with the age of the fish. So you can tell not only how old the fish was when it died, you can also read the rings, look how thick and thin they are. That reflects growth stages. And you can make assumptions about what the environment was like, how much food it had available to it, all of that. So I'm gonna see if I can take this home, put it under a light magnifying glass and see if we can, you know, determine anything about the individual life of this fish. That would be cool. I just found a lovely little seashell this looks like something that you would see on the beach today and be like, oh my goodness. So let's find a 40 million year old one. That's pretty cool. Let me show you. I'm gonna see if I can scurry up that with my cleats. We'll see. Oh man. Oh. This is so awesome. I see so many skid marks from other people trying to come up this. Not me. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm an unstoppable fossil hunting machine.
Ooh, I have so much control. Look at that. That is a lemon shark tooth. Not a modern lemon shark. This is an extinct species. Probably Negaprion gilmeri. Very cool. I just found a very thick shell layer over here that I'm digging into. Man, the amount of shells in here. Unbelievable. Whoa, whoa, look. <laughs> Remember that otolith? Just found another one. Right there. Beautiful. Look at that. What's interesting about the shells here is that they're not mineralized. They're not replaced with rock. This is original shell material, which is super odd. I don't know why. It's just an odd fluke of the chemistry here because these are definitely old enough to be mineralized, so. Look at that. That appears to be a striatolamia macrota tooth. Just right here, coming out of the cliff. When digging fragile fossils out of a bank like this, you want to give them a really, really wide berth so that stresses from removing the dirt in its vicinity don't really carry to the fossil itself. Mm. It has some feeding damage at the tip that it sustained during its life. That's pretty cool. Some uh, collector types don't like feeding damage all that much. They feel it's an imperfection on the aesthetic qualities of the tooth. But I think that when you view it through the lens of biology and natural history, it's actually way cooler, way cooler to see evidence of what the shark was doing during its life. The whole thing wants to come out now. Whoa! And I'm sliding. I have so much mud on my cleats that they're barely sticking anymore. Okay. With the most utmost delicacy. Wow. Look at that. Oh, I hope this can focus. Let's see. This is so unbelievable. I can't get over this. What a cool find. It's a lateral file striatolamia macrota tooth, an extinct species of sand tiger shark. Man. The sun is starting to sink on another day and I actually have a load of homework to do because I have a test on Monday that I'm not very prepared for. So I'm gonna head back, but I can't say I'm disappointed. That striatolamia tooth is really beautiful. It's hard to find them in good condition like that. And lots of interesting invertebrates, which I thought might happen. So yeah, this will probably be a short video, but it's good to be back after a while. Um, I think I'm going to start posting on here more often just because TikTok and Instagram are being about as bad form as you can imagine, just those two companies. So I think I wanna start slowly making a move here. Yeah, anyway, that's today's video. I'll see you guys later.